Iris. Oh, thank God you're all right. What are you doing here, Millie? Officially, I've come to visit Cyrus in his hour of need. Now, I know you don't want cameras in the room, Cy, but they got me coming in, so I was thinking when Fitz and I go down in the elevator together, maybe we can let a little press into the lobby. I'm not leaving here with you. Our approval ratings are up, Fitz. If you plan to run and when, we need to capitalize on the public support. Nellie, this phase of our lives, capitalizing on public support as a definition of marriage, is over. Make no mistake, you are going to leave the White House. You'll launch your own political career, and I will back you and campaign for you, and never speak of my ex-wife, Nellie Grant, in anything but the most glowing of terms. And then, about a year into my second term, I will go on one or two high-profile dates with well-educated, age-appropriate career women, which will be chronicled in immaculate detail by tabloids around the globe. And when word leaks six months later that I've been spending time with one of my oldest, dearest, most trusted advisors, who selflessly acted as the mouthpiece of my administration when I was lying half-dead in a hospital bed, who has always stood beside me as my friend and colleague, when it gets out that she and I have started, after all this time, to care for one another in a way that is no longer strictly professional, America will love her. And let's be honest, my relationship with Olivia is going to spark a real dialogue about race in this country, and it is going to blow the Republican Party wide open and let some light and air into places that haven't seen change in far too long. So the party will love her. And you want to be on the right side of history here. Trust me, you do. Now, if you don't want to play along, if you leak Olivia's name, if you refuse to go gently, well, it only takes a few whispers of the word racist before the feminist groups and the religious groups and even the Republican National Committee turn up their noses at your stink. But I don't want to do that, Melly. I want to help you join me as a living, breathing monument to redemption and second chances and the America we all hope still exists.